Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I want to talk about a phenomena that nobody ever talks about when it comes to char cloth. When you first take char cloth out of the fire and you first take it out of the char tin, it is much more reactive than any other time in its life. Now we tend to want to attribute that to char cloth that hangs around you know you open up your container and you expose it to moisture and it absorbs moisture and I believe that char cloth absorbs moisture and it affects reactivity but the huge difference that there is between fresh char cloth and char cloth that's been stored can't be denied nobody ever talks about it I'm not sure what's going on but I'm thinking that possibly listen to this let's just say that char cloth Let's say that denim cooked in a char tin, a metal char tin, when it first comes out of the fire, maybe it has a positive charge. And maybe the sparks coming off a flint and steel is a negative charge. And therefore, you know, they come together, they stick. The char cloth can catch the spark a whole lot better. I mean, I don't really mind if it takes four, five, six strikes to ignite char cloth. It doesn't really look good to you on a video but it's realistic older char cloth will absorb some moisture possibly not have that charge anymore the positive charge may be gone by then and become less reactive so I'm gonna try to demonstrate that for you two of my previous videos you saw me trying to ignite some char cloth with quartz and with chert and with the quartz it took 19 strikes to ignite four pieces with the chert, it took 17 strikes to ignite four pieces. I promise you, this char cloth straight out of the fire is gonna beat that. I don't believe it's gonna take 10 strikes to ignite four pieces of char cloth. We won't know till we try it, so. Let's go ahead and cut up some of this denim, 10 pieces. And as usual, I put punk wood on the bottom as a buffer to keep the fabric from touching the red hot metal of the can which is what I think makes it brittle. We'll go ahead and start our fire with flint and steel today. This Corona saw will be our steel. I've got a nice piece of We'll shirt. fuel the fire with some pine cones that I have and all of these bow drill and hand drill sets. This stuff here, it's, it's almost like it multiplies. I've got tonnage of this stuff. I need to get rid of it. All right, here is the punk wood that will buffer the bottom of the can. All right, 16 pieces. Usually I go with about 10 to 12 pieces. 16 will be all right. And our handy dandy folding saw steel. In this bright sun, it's hard to tell when it's ignited. There's no telling when that ignited.
I can't get rid of it all. I got too much. All right, about 10 minutes. Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Tear it across the bias. And our fourth piece. So far we have a one, two, and two.
One, two, two, five. What is that, 10? All right, y'all, it's very real. Uh, comment and let me know what you think is the reason why char cloth straight out of the fire seems to be way more reactive. Do you think it's just moisture? Do you think there's a positive negative thing going on? Have you even noticed that there's a difference before? Please comment and let me know. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.